As Russian President Vladimir Putin and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe prepare for their meeting in New York next week on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly meeting, locals living on the disputed islands between Japan and Russia hope a diplomatic solution will bring them investment and tourists. The Japanese call the four rocky islands the Northern Territories. The Russians call them the Southern Kuriles. These are the islands which have kept the two Asian neighbors from signing a World War II peace treaty. The islands have limited economic or strategic value, but the question of sovereignty touches national pride on both sides. Some 17,000 Japanese were living on the islands when the Soviet Union invaded in 1945, forcing them to leave. Now, an estimated 14,000 Russians live there, mostly fishermen. The current residents say invitations and past attempts at reconciliation have not worked out. We invited the Japanese to invest here to create a special economic zone, but they declined because they consider this as their own island. Tokyo has said the island dispute is a barrier to deepening economic ties, although trade and investment between the two countries has been growing as Japanese firms invest in the resource-rich Russian Far East, though not on these disputed islands. Russia and Japan in 1997 promised to sign a peace treaty by the end of 2000, but failed. Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev in August emphasized economic development plans for a region potentially rich in oil and gas and invited foreign investors. But the Japanese government protested the visit to what they consider their own island.